Hello, welcome to I Like Transport, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Dapple Class 68. So, here's the box of this rather fantastic Class 68. It's not actually in it. Not that I can't be bothered, I just don't want to be taking it in and out of the box. It might get damaged. But, product code 4D022008D. 176.2 scale, double O gauge class 68, 68 003 astute, DRS early service. And the model era is modern, 2015. Minimum recommended radius, first radius, and this version's DCC fitted. So let's take a closer look at the model itself. So, you have the rivets, so I'm just still getting used to my new camera, you have the rivets, you have the nameplate, that one's a, uh, where, that, nameplate there, astute, that's an etched, separately fitted nameplate, although I did have to fit it myself. Didn't come pre-fitted, unfortunately. Down here, buggy detail. Really good. Look at that. And then... In there, you've got a piece of what looks like engine equipment. I think it's just modelled, it's not actual functional, but... And in here you have the map. If I don't uh, zoom in too fast. There we go. And you have your warning symbols down there. Yeah, I'm too close to zoom in that far. Yeah, when I zoom in too far, when I'm this close, it blurs. But, um, yep, yeah, that's good. In there, you also have a bit of engine detail. Okay, we're now looking at the front of the model. You will see a nice crisply printed running number. Ooh. And you'll see all the detail parts down there. I didn't fit them. They came pre-fitted. DRS logo beneath the wiper there. Nice separately fitted windscreen wiper. And look at those horns. Look at those horns. Fabulous, aren't they? Taking a look down the roof, we have these nice etched fan grills with fans inside. And the exhaust. We have the antennae there. We have the warning symbol. Warning sticker, I should say, or whatever it's called. You have the direct rail services logo, you have the builder's plate. Take a look at the other side. I forgot what I think I forgot to mention is inside these grills is even more grilling effect to make it look like it's the radiator inside the locomotive. Again, beautiful separately fitted buggy detail. 
and the Vosla logo. We have the builder's plates again. So, here you have, if I can focus it, there we go, you have those separately fitted hand wheels. So these are separately fitted, these are separately fitted, and these are separately fitted. Lots of this bogey detail down here is separately fitted. There's the astute nameplate. And there's the Direct Rail Services logo, again. So, yeah, very good detail. Of course, at this end, we have reduced buffer beam detail. We still have it, but it's reduced due to the coupler. We have these ladders. We have sprung buffers. We have some really good lighting functions. We have the Vosla logo. We have various small details down here. All in all, it's an extremely good model. Look at the map. Looks so good. We go. Right, let's uh, suppose we'll get it on the track and see how it runs. I already know, know but for, for the purposes of the review, I'm saying we'll see how it runs. But just before that, I'll show you which lights light up. So these ones, as they go away, red, as they come forward, white. Now with DCC there is a dimmable option so you can dim them for daytime operation and you can make them brighter for nighttime operation. You can also operate the halo lights and you can operate the the light at the top. I can never remember what it's called. Some people call it the pantograph light. Others call it other things. And the cab light also lights up and you have a bit of detail in there. Uh, too many inflections if I shield it. Mm. Nope, still not working. Right, well, there is some in there. I'll show you once it's lit up. It'll be easier to see. So, the Class 68 is now on the track over there. So, now I am going to select the right address. I have programmed it to number 5 at the moment and now I am going to first I'm going to do function 1 now that just lights this end it doesn't light the other end so that's for push and pull services function 2 is also the same thing except it only lights Except it only lights the other end. So yeah, you can't see that. That's function two. And now function three is halos. I'm not sure if you can see that. Right, so that's halos. And now function four. Oh yeah, currently doesn't do anything because we've not got function zero on. Right, there's function zero. Let's switch halos off. So that's nighttime operation, that's daytime. Nighttime, daytime. Unfortunately, you don't have individual control of the cab lights though. This is due to the fact they ran out of functions. 
It's already got six functions, so. Unfortunately, it's not painted, but it's nice that they've included the detail there anyway. Unsteadiness in running is probably my controller as it only has 28 speed steps. If there is any unsteadiness, it's hard to tell. I think there is a bit to accelerate. You can go rather slow with this model as well. This is as slow as I can get it to go on my Bathroom Easy Command, but on more high-end advanced controllers you can probably get it to go slower. I think that's a good slow speed. Even if it is the slowest it can go, which I doubt it is. Turn the camera around then, we'll see it going. Ooh, the anti shake on this camera is so good. Well, let's not mess about with anti shake, let's actually run the loco. So now you'll be able to see it going in and out there. It really does look the part, doesn't it? Right. Okay, we'll zoom in a bit now. Hang on, just had an idea of how I might be able to show you the halos. So... We do function uh, four, so to dim the lights. And then function three. No, it's not showing properly. Right. Anyway, never mind. That's halos on, off, on, off, on, off. Anyway, it's um, a very good loco. So let's go. going to get some wagons for it to pull and I'll be back in a second. Another thing worthy of note is the weight of this model. It is extremely heavy which some people might think is a bad thing but it's actually a very good thing. Most people will already know this but for the people who don't it creates better traction between the loco and the track. So it means it can pull more, theoretically, as long as it, its mechanism is good enough. Which in this model, the mechanism is very good, so 
let's take let's uh i've not got very many wagons behind it today but this is just a short what is going to be a heritage line but i don't have any anything else on the layout done yet so that bumpiness as it accelerates is the fact that my controller only has 28 speed steps so it's not the loco these wagons are MEA mineral wagons so all in all I think a very good model like to purchase one of these they are available in various liveries including this one DRS, Transpennal Express, Children Railways and Scott Rail. They also have the other version of the DRS livery as well. So yeah they're available at most model shops. One of the ones I found best deals on was Hattons and another one was Rails of Sheffield, but there are many other shops as well. So let's go and film it elsewhere on this little heritage line.